I'm Mark Flatten, National Investigative Reporter at the Goldwater Institute. Time is our enemy in the fight against COVID-19. As the death toll rises, we need to figure out how to treat the virus, and we need to figure it out now. But recent media reports indicate top officials at the Food and Drug Administration and the Department of Health and Human Services display a remarkable lack of urgency. Top agency officials are quoted anonymously as complaining about the pressure from the White House to begin treating patients with a decades-old malaria drug, chloroquine, which has shown some positive results in the U.S. and in other countries. Not surprisingly, the federal bureaucrats are not happy. They say chloroquine is not an FDA-approved treatment for COVID-19 and that it's never been proven effective in fighting the virus. One said dosing patients with chloroquine is a wild goose chase. Another said the data does not support its use. What's needed, they say, are controlled clinical trials to collect statistical data on the effectiveness of chloroquine and other treatments. That could take years. This leisurely pace of drug research is slow, cumbersome, and inefficient, even in the best of times. But we're hardly in the best of times. We need answers today. People are dying. The death toll is rising exponentially on a daily basis. There is no FDA approved treatment or vaccine. This is not an academic exercise. There are hopeful signs that the attitudes in the entrenched FDA bureaucracy may be changing. On Saturday, the agency issued an emergency use authorization giving doctors the green light to begin treating COVID-19 patients with chloroquine and an offshoot hydroxychloroquine. If nothing else, this is an acknowledgement that saving people's lives is more important right now than red tape and statistical studies. If chloroquine works, great. If not, let's find that out and try something else. This is a new way of thinking at the FDA, and it may well be what brings this epidemic to an end. Thank you. If you'd like more information, please visit our website at goldwaterinstitute.org.